Game Demo. Hey everybody, this is Maxwell McGee here at Sega's press event here in San Francisco. We're checking out Captain America and Thor, and I'm here with... I'm Todd Harwig, I'm Senior Development Director at Sega, and I'm going to show you Thor God of Thunder on Next Gen. Alright Todd, thank you for joining us. Let's uh, check out the demo. Let's hit it. All right, well, let's jump in here. We're checking out the, the Frost Giant. Is that what it was? The Frost the Giant? Frost the Frost Goliath. The Frost Goliath. Frost Goliath. He's a boss battle early on in the game. Thor next gen. God of Thunder. Uh, this is actually set in Asgard. This is uh, basically during an invasion uh, by some nasty forces, uh, assault on Odin's palace ultimately. So what you're seeing here is the, the Frost Giants coming to bash down the doors. Uh, Thor comes in, of course. Knocks him down with a nice Thunder Trench move. I think that's what that is in that cinematic. So what we're going to see here is this quick sequence. It's going to be a demonstration of what we call T2s. Is basically what these are. There's three levels of enemies uh, that we have in the game. So we have T1s. Those will be about the same size as Thor. Uh, T2 is about twice the size which we have here. And then T3, which is what we're going to see in the concluding section of this battle. Uh, what this also demonstrates uh, is a little bit of the grapple system, a little bit of the complexity of the combat. So basically what happens with these guys is, if you didn't see already, they actually broke down some armor so that we could get to the point that they were vulnerable now to the grapple system. So in the grapple system, actually, there's a tactical choice at the end of this sequence, basically, where the player is actually choosing whether they want to try to increase their valor points, their health points, their Odin force as a result of defeating. So as we see here again, here's another grapple. Sorry, I made a selection. We're going to see the runes fly up. I can't remember exactly what move this is, but we're going to see the runes come up. It's going to give me a clear understanding of what he's got. So now we're going to actually see the, the Frost Goliath proper. So as I said, this is going to be an example of a T3. So what we're going to see here is a much larger scale enemy. And a lot of how this adventure was, was constructed really was to demonstrate how powerful Thor was by opposing them to some very, very large enemies. So what's really nice about this sequence is we're going to play, and I'm going to spoil a little bit, is he's actually uh, sucking up those ice pieces of the defeated enemies as he's moving along here. Um, and I'm basically going to be, as the player, battling this giant, try, again, trying to knock off those pieces of armor ultimately through this. And it's, again, it's another implementation of the grapple system, which you'll see in a moment. It's basically what you're trying to do is you're getting to the point where the vulnerability has been uh, knocked down just enough so the player is going to move through, attach to certain points, and knock off armor so we can see that. And again, this sequence actually is a pivotal one in Asgard, the opening of the, of the sequence. This is probably about towards the latter end of this first level of the game. Um, it has a concluding sequence that really sets up the drama. And as I'm kind of going through this, we're seeing basically the first example of the, of the grapple system. He's moving around from point to point. There are three points or four points actually on this creature that you can move around. It's timing based to some degree, so there is a fail state. If you don't move fast enough, he'll actually pick you up, bash you on the ground, you've got to start over again. Um, you can see also that he's able to use uh, the hammer to kind of throw it at there and knock off some arm as well. It's really to prompt the state in which he's actually vulnerable and I can grapple again as the player. So he's, again, that's the indicator that the grapple system is active. He can go up there, he's gonna bash him again on the shoulder. And what you see also in those green points are really where he's vulnerable. That's where I'm trying to bash out um, so I can conclude this sequence. So you can see he's been using uh, several of the elemental powers. He's on lightning at this point as he's gonna go through. Uh, fire that off, it's really lightning storm to stun him. Um, and again, if we didn't cover this off already, Thor has elemental powers that are intrinsically linked right now in the implementation to his to Molnir, his, his hammer. So there is a leveling up system that is based around those elemental powers. So as he increases his, uh, his levels up, basically, uh, he's able to increase the variety of those particular uh, powers as they would impact uh, the enemies. So here we go, here's a, another quick time event basically. It's concluding uh, part of the grapple system. Cool. So he's basically defeated this enemy. So he just finished the raid, so to speak. Uh, we just saw he actually collected all his Odin force for defeating him, you get a reward. This is a dramatic sequence at the end. It's gonna set up actually part of the, the conflict of the tale. To let it play out. Now I, I wanted to touch upon the fact we do have talent from the film in here, but we should say that the story that we play is outside the context of the film. So we're very proud of what the developers made able to do. Again, everything looks great in this product coming out soon. All right, and that was a look at Thor, God of Thunder. Todd, can you remind us when it's coming out and what it's coming out for? It's coming out on 360, PS3, Wii, and DS. It's going to come out on May 3rd. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Stay tuned to the site for more information.